Proverbs chapter 1. Verse 20 and it reads. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried from the chief place of concourse. In the opening of the gates. In the city. She uttered her words saying. How long. Ye simple ones. Will ye love simplicity. And the scorners delight. And they're scorning. And fools hate knowledge. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regardless of people here, forbear wisdom. Where can wisdom be found? Where can the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures be found? In the streets. Not in no building. Built with man's hands. The, the scriptures firmly, you know what I'm saying? Tell you that, you know? You're not going to find the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures in no church building. Where are you going to find it at? On the streets. Where the man of the Lord going to be at? On the streets. The men you see out there in the ancient garments, you call them dresses, but it's ancient garments. The priestly attire, where you going to find them at? On the streets, giving you the 100% truth according to the Bible. It's, it's, it's shit hitting the fan now, Israel. It's going down. The men that you seen out there on the highways and byways gave you reproof. Gave you warning. Gave you everything the God of the Bible commanded them to give you. You ignored it, remember? The, those were just a bunch of crazy guys on the streets. They didn't know what they was talking about. But the scripture is telling you, wisdom was in the streets. You ignored the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures that could keep you stable. That's what the men of the Lord out there are giving you. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures that can keep you stable, man. But, but but you ignored it. You know, let's get it again. Proverbs, it, it, it's, it's through. It, it's through, man. Just, just nothing but folly. While the men of the Lord are preaching this gospel, with nothing but folly on, on, on the TV. I mean, just, just TikTok, ch TikTok challenges. All, all these pranks, well, hyperinflation is kicking the hell in. You playing around, but hyperinflation is kicking the hell in. Yeah, every time you go somewhere, shit is more expensive than it was yesterday. But, but, but oh yeah, you playing around, right? Let's get it again. Because the men are out there on the highways and byways warning you of the evils. Well, we won't get that, Lord willing. Proverbs 1. And 20, wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. That's where the men of the Lord were commanded to go, to the streets and preach this Bible. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. Just burning some early morning oil. Early morning oil. The same Matthew chapter 22. For, for the Israelites are still trying to figure out where the man of the Lord is supposed to be at. And where, where they can be found at. Well, we're going to show you, according to the Bible, where they can be found at. St. Matthew chapter 22. You see it. St. Matthew 22 and 9. Go ye therefore into the highways. So the men of the Lord are going to be found where? In the highways. A church building. Highways. The church building. The highways. No, Lord. The church building. The highways. The men of the Lord are going to be found where? On the highways. Giving you warning. Prophesying, telling you what's going to happen before it even happened. All right, going into history, going into who your enemy is. You see, what the Lord requires us, commands us to do, what He dislikes, what makes Him angry, what makes Him furious, all the above. And as many as ye find, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage, because the Lord is coming. Lord Yahweh is coming. So those servants went out into the highways. The Spirit of the Lord is not dealing with none of these churches. All right? And you keep you playing around with yourself anyway, Israel. 
You ignore the men that's on the highways and byways giving you the truth according to the Bible, and then you run your ass, you know what I'm saying, to a church where you know this man is feeding you lies. And on top of that, they got women up in there teaching. When the scriptures forbid all that, but oh yeah, that was old time, right? That was back in the biblical times, right? When did, when did, when did biblical times ever stop? Just a phrase they use to continue on in their madness. But what it say? So those servants went, St. Matthew 22 and 10. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. Because when you go out there, because basically with fishing, with the word, when you throw the bait out there, you don't know what type of fish you're going to catch. The scripture says, look, you're going to catch some good fish, you're going to catch some bad fish. And, and if there is some bad fish among the congregation, hey, look, the Lord's going to eventually spear them back out into the water, which is the world. So let's go back. You saw what the Lord says men were going to be at. Matter of fact, let's get Acts. Because I keep making a statement. I want to I prove it according to the Bible. The Lord ain't in none of those church buildings. The spiritual demon Satan is in that church building. Acts chapter 7. The spiritual demon Satan is in that church building, man. All right? Not the Lord. Acts chapter 7, verse 48. You ain't, you ain't got nothing but some grimy ninjas. Some grimy ASS ninjas. And hyenas. Gremlins. Wanksters and many other words that I can think of, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep rolling. Acts chapter seven, verse forty-eight. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. What's a temple made with hands? You guessed it, church, man. All right. What the hell is the church calling out to the people about? Nothing but lies. Nothing but dancing, foaming at the mouth. Fake a person in a wheelchair, they, they lay hands on them, so called. They say, you know, the person hop up out of the wheelchair. It's all an act. Jake loves some gimmicks, though, going right back to Isaiah, the 30th chapter, verse 9 and 10. What does it say again? How be it the most high dwell of not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, saith the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? And you got churches on every corner. Yeah, you got churches on every corner lying like I don't know what to the people. So let's go back here. I'm gonna go right back to Proverbs. Lord said, How long you simple ones will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in scorning. Let's go here. Proverbs chapter one, going right back. Proverbs chapter one, verse um twenty-one. She cried from the chief place of concourse. So the majority of the time, you got small towns, small cities, and things of that nature country, but the majority of the time, where you going to see the um, the prophets of the Lord at? In the marketplace, the Agora, the marketplace, the chief place in the city with shopping and businesses and things of that nature, people commercial, that's where you're going to see the men of the Lord at. Once again, not in a freaking building, all right? She cried from the chief place of conquest in the opening of the gates where you got cars going in and out the city, right? In the city, she uttered her words saying, how long, you simple ones? Because you Israelites are very simple, right? How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? You know, there's a bunch of folly. How long are you going to love folly? Matter of fact, we'll get, we'll get that word. Lord, how long are you going to love simplicity, man? Let's get it. This is just something quick through the spirit of your house by Shemel Shai. The men are going to be found on the streets giving you warning. Simplicity. The quality or condition of being easy to understand or do. You see, the quality or condition of being plain or natural. Our people are so simple, they can't even grasp what, what the hell is really going on, though. When you see the men out there on the highways and byways, it says the scorners, the light is scorning. We out there on the highways and byways. One thing our people can do is make fun of the men of the Lord. And fools hate knowledge. 
See, the Lord said, you hate this knowledge, you're going to be eventually destroyed. And he's going to mock when your fear comes. All hell breaking loose. And the only thing that's going to keep you stable, we'll just get this right quick, nothing long. The only thing that's going to keep you stable is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scriptures. Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And it reads, And wisdom and knowledge of the Bible that the men on the highways and byways are giving you, starting out with the head apostles slash other bitches, a great millstone. Because you, you got a whole lot of problems out there on the highways and byways, but some of them fake. Some of them feeding you lies. Some of them feeding you gimmicks. And all this other nonsense. But the true men of the Lord starting off with the head apostles slash other bitches, a great millstone, and the men on down, and the affiliates. Lord willing, we have that number. We're feeding you with knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, which shall keep you stable in these times and the times that's coming. So when all hell really break loose, then the, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that the pastors in these churches have been feeding you, that ain't going to keep you stable. Because it's just been feeding you with lies. A, a lie ain't never kept anybody stable. All right? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. This is what's going to keep your mind stable. Having this knowledge, knowing, knowing what's coming before it even comes. Knowing who to call on. See, that's what we're out there doing, giving our people the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, His only begotten Son, who you equally call Jesus. He saves, He delivers. Those are the proper names in the Hebrew tongue that we're giving you. They call on. Do, do it now. How much more when all hell really hit the, hit the fan, you know? And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is His treasure. That's what we hold dear to us. Fearing the Lord. But the Lord said, how long will you simple ones love simplicity and the scorners delight and the scorners and fools hate knowledge. Only a fool will hate the knowledge. Somebody's telling you what you need to do to, to save your life and you, and you you laughing at them. You mocking at them. You know something wrong with Israel. You got men on the highways and byways giving you the instructions on how to preserve your life and you laughing and mocking at them. That's how you know it's a simple people. Oh, the scriptures call them um, sottish, retarded, stupid. Jeremiah 28 and 8. But, but they're going to know that the prophet had been among them. They're going to know that the men that was out there on the highways and byways week in and week out. The Lord told us to go out there instant in season, out of season. You're going to know that a prophet was among you, man. And then anybody go crazy because the famine of the word is hidden. Videos are being taken down. Pages are being striked down. Because the Lord, you no know saying, is orchestrating a famine of the word. And, and the Israelites that don't have this word, you're going to bug out instantly. Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied, they told you what was going to happen before it even happened, right? They told you what was going to happen before it even happened. Where did they tell you that at? On the highways and byways. They prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, but you, but you scorn and you mock. Yeah, that, that, that's crazy. You scorn and you mock at the men that was on the highways and byways giving you the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. You, you simple as hell. Walk right past. Won't, won't do nothing. That pride, though. Isaiah chapter 30. Matter of fact, I'll I read this first and then I jump down. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people talking about the Hebrew Israelites, right? Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, right? Lying children, they always lying about some. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. So instead of the scriptures told you where the men of the Lord were going to be at on the streets, told you they was going to be on the streets. But it take, but instead of taking heed to that, even though you read it, even though you heard it, what you do? You took your butt, you know what I'm saying, to the church. Well, you knew that man was lying to you. That man or that woman. You know, you know you got no you women up there running their damn trap. Talking, screaming and hollering, foaming at the mouth. Go, going the hell off. No, you're not supposed to be up on there on that stage running your mouth trying to teach men. But, but the Lord going to deal with it all, though. 
That's why the Lord said he dwelleth not in temples made with him. You still going to church, you the fool. For you Negroes, Latinos, and Indian is still um, giving your hard-earned money to these liars. You're the fool, all right? And the deceive and the deceiver are his. The Lord got you being deceived by that deceiver. Lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord that say it's done away with. You can eat whatever you want to. Just gone. We say to the seers, aka the prophets, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak, speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. So our people want the prophets of the Lord to tell them that everything is going to be love, love. That they can make it here in Babylon. You see, they can chase their career. They can chase fortune and fame. You can eat whatever you want to eat. You can serve who you want to serve. You can live your best life. Those are the lies that they want us to tell them. They don't want us to tell them that World War Three is coming. It's inevitable. You can't stop the inevitable. Cannibalism, race wars, class wars, civil wars, all the above. N nuclear fire. No, no, damn. the Lord, no saying, don't love everybody. They want us to teach lies. They want us to tell them that the Lord loves everybody. He died for everybody. No, they want us to prophesy deceit, man. They want us to tell them that they can um, plant Easter eggs and they can walk around with um, Halloween costumes and things of that nature. Nah, man, we're going to tell you the truth. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to just jump down for the process of time. Verse 20, Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, it says, Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers where? On the streets. Where you going to see your teachers at? In the streets. Say that say the, uh, the prophets, a.k.a. the teachers, are not going to be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way, because evidently you was walking the wrong way. This is the way. Repent and turn back to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's the way. Not Allah, because you was walking. All of us was, man. We was walking out the other gods. We was, we was walking down the wrong path. Going right down that path of death and destruction. Seeing the prophets. Look, look, you're going the wrong way, brother. You're going the wrong way, sister. Turn back to the Lord. All right? And then you got Lizzo. Um, hippopotamus ass back on stage. It, it's almost through, though. That's what they want to hear. They want to hear these lies, man. This is the way. Walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, turn back to the God of the Bible. Look, look, we gave you warning. Look, look. In, in season, out of season. I got, I got one more. Let's just bring this out right quick. This is um, Amos chapter 8. Because the men of the Lord, they don't know how the Bible is right now, but some come, they're not going to be. Amos chapter 8, and I close it out with this. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come. Say the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh shot. Remember, Israel, you played around too long. The men of the Lord was out there, the Lord, you know what I'm saying? That's, uh, man, we got a merciful power. Actually sent men out there to the highways and byways and to give you warning before it even popped up, before he brought um, death and destruction. He sent men forth to tell you about it, to warn you about it, so you can get yourself together. And you ignored it. The days come, said the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, even though that's coming. It's going to be something crucial. But of hearing the words of the Lord. So the men of the Lord that's out there on the highways and byways, they're, not long, they're no longer going to be out there, right? And then you're going to go crazy. You're going to lose them, man. You act, you acting like you, like it don't mean nothing right about now. But just watch, though. The scripture says you're going to go crazy. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word, even though look, look, they're not seeking it now. But when that Internet get cut off and there ain't no more videos being put up and there ain't no more men on the highways and byways for you to make fun of, then you're going to seek the words of the Lord. They're going to run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. 
and shall not find it. And shall not find it. So the only thing that can keep you stable from bugging the hell out, from going bonkers, from losing it, you're not going to be able to find it. That's just crucial right there. The only thing that can keep you from bugging the hell out, you, look, look, it's accessible right about now. You can find it at the fingertips of your fingers, right? Soon come, you're not going to be able to find it. Receive with meekness, then graft the word. Let's just, I ended off on that. I ended off on that. This is how serious this word is, Israel. James chapter 1. James chapter 1, verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness, humbleness, the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. Is that plain, Israel? Taking heed to this word is able to save your soul. Not taking heed to it, you're going to bug the hell out, Israel. Wisdom cry in the streets. Shalom.